welcome back to a new video in today's video i've got my flexi hand ready of course and we're going to be using some bling line bits and some nail sugar bits Aww! and we're going to be creating a set of nails mm. so i have prepped my nails um, i'm going to put these to the side we're going to need right so you prep your nails blah, 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 right and now we're ready to apply the gel so to start with you're going to need some super bond <clears throat> this is what it looks like in the pot you need the smallest amount of this you literally want to dampen the nail um so you can see i've got a tiniest amount on my brush um if you were doing obviously a shorter nail you'd need like like even less than that now you want to work it in to the nail so really i mean i've sped this up so it looks like i'm going a little bit mad but you want to work it in really get in between all those grooves and whatnot that might be in the nail <clears throat> you can put this on the extension as well so if you're applying tips work it all the way down to the end of the tip and i'm going to show you in a minute you don't if you you don't want it to look wet you don't want it to look like you've just put a layer of gel on you literally want to put the thinnest coat on and when you've finished you almost want it to look damp or tacky as it is i'm going to show you it now before i pop it in the lamp so you can just see how little product there is on the on the tips right look at look at the reflection that is how you want like tiny tiny amounts okay i'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds that's going to create <clears throat> a tacky layer uh, a really tacky layer and that's what's going to give our gel that really good adhesion um this is the cool one step gel i love this one um i'm going to apply a thin coat of this so this is going to be like when you apply um when you apply colored acrylic to the nail you always apply your thin coat of clear first your thin layer of clear this is what i'm doing here so kind of you know like pretty much the same rule applies apply a thin coat of clear so that if we need to fall back down um to that clear layer that's what we can do on it yeah that makes sense yep so i'm going to pop those in the lamp now i've done a four then i'm going to use peg i really really like peg i'm sure i've used her before oh why are they digging outside it's so annoying i'm really sorry if you can hear all the digging and i've got ulis actually let me shut the window one sec okay i'm hoping that will make a difference um so this is a sort of medium gray i am gonna place an order at the end of the month i want a lighter gray actually um there are a few more colors i want and also um they have released the little nail shop have released some new glittery bling line gel polish colors the soak off colors which i want to get a few as well because i want to show you guys them as well they're so pretty they sent me one today uh, called bailey and they're absolutely stunning they're more like um i don't know you'll see i'll get some and i'll, I'll swatch some of them and, and, I'll, and i'll and i'll show you you'll love them um so right so back to the nails um right we've done our thin layer of clear we're going on the pinky and the middle finger with ulis <clears throat> nope with peg now i wasn't sure i do this i wasn't sure what i was going to put on the ring finger but i i'm going to do a marble so i'm going to apply a thin coat of gray to the ring finger as well i, I should have done that now and um, but i didn't because i didn't know what i was going to do so i do it in a minute as you'll see i get very when i do sets of nails i don't always know what i want to do so i kind of just wing it and um which means i kind of end up going backwards and forwards which isn't really i suppose it's not really helpful for you guys sometimes because if you're in a you know if you're in a salon and you're you know supposed to be doing a client and you do it as i do it it's not going to be very time saving <laughs> so uh yeah um i do try but it's difficult when i'm winging it so and this was a winged set <laughs> if there is such thing but i'm going over with my second coat of color now this color is so beautiful yeah beautiful it's true it's got like a metallic -y look to it i love it oh it's so shiny and then that's gonna go in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds 
Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to go on this now. This now I decided to do... I was like, should I do a marble? And I was like, no, I'm not going to do my usual marble. You know, where you pick up the marble and float it on. Because this is actually hard gel. Um, so what I thought I'd do is we're going to apply one coat of the grey, which was Euless. Cure that in the lamp. Then we're going to go over with our second coat. But we're not going to cure this. Don't do that. If you do that, do it with a glove on. Don't get it on your skin. <clears throat> okay. Even though Bling Line was designed with... It was developed for people with allergies in mind. Still don't do stuff like that with it. <laughs> uh, okay. Now I'm going to take the peg. And I'm placing her through Ulysses. That sounds really bizarre. Um, I'm just gently putting a little bit in. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm kind of going to pat out the colour. So I'm kind of, I don't even know, this isn't like, I don't even know what this is. I'm kind of spreading it through the grey. And yeah, sort of, we're kind of mixing it, but not really. It's almost like a marble, but not really. Um, so I'm going to pop that in the lamp and I'm going to leave that as it is. And then I've got some glitter. I'm going to take, this one is called purplicious this is from nail sugar um this is going to go on the pinky and we're just going to dab this into the tacky layer so we don't want we don't want um a full sort of glittery look but it will give you like a full glittery look we because we're burnishing it in but it's not you're still gonna get like you can still see hints of peg underneath can't you there and then on the index finger we're going to go in with oh the most amazing silver hollow. This is a fine silver holographic glitter called Stardust. Oh, if you want to get 10% off any nail sugar glitters, you can do so using my code NATMOG10. I also have 10% discount code for the little nail shop. So if you want to buy any Bling Line products or Neo Nail products from their website, you can do so as well using my code NATMOG10. All the links um, to websites and things and dis discount codes will be in the description box below. How amazing is that Stardust though over you, Liz? Oh my God, I'm in love. I'm just going to, I've just gone over with a thin layer of my cool one step gel. Then I'm going to go over with a bigger bead and we're going to start to create a little bit of structure. And then what I usually do is I hold the nail upside down and I just move the product a little bit with my brush, but I can never get this on camera very well. I had to go in with a second bead. My pot is nearly empty. I do have another pot. Um, but my pot is nearly empty, um, so I'm not able to get very big beads out at a time. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold that upside down and make sure my product's where I want it. Um, and then I pop that into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. I'm going to repeat the process with this one. Um, I do do it with all the nails, um, but I just I just literally show you me doing it on the index and this one, the pinky. The pinky was a little bit easier because I didn't need so much product to create my structure <laughs> so again i work the product down backwards and forwards and then um i hold the nail upside down and then i'll move the product where i want it and uh, right so yeah they've all been done <clears throat> they are now f no they're not filed and um, before you file them you're going to have to wipe off the tacky layer um, you can use the bling line cleanser to do this. I now have some which I'm really pleased about and um, The bling line cleansing wipes which are amazing um, the, the I'm not using them in this video. Um, I have got some now uh, So you'll see them in the future videos because they're maze balls um, Now you want to go ahead and file your product your your nails um, I'm not going to show you me doing all of this I just like to add this first little bit in so that you know that this is like filing time it's like top going down but it's not it's filing time <laughs> then I'm going to use the bling line wet finish for the index and pinky and for these two nails I'm going to be using the bling line matte top finish so I'm going to do the matte nails first I'm making these matte because I want to add crystals on and as I said before in previous videos, I don't like crystals over shiny nails. I just don't like, I just think it looks a little bit messy. It doesn't, but in my head it does. I also want to do a Christmas reindeer, a crystal 
crystal nail art reindeer. I'm desperate to do that, but I'm like, it's only October. We haven't even had Halloween yet. <laughs> so that is on the cards, a crystal reindeer. Oh my God, I love reindeers, they're so cute. Okay, so uh, once we have, right, yeah, because we're applying matte, you wanna make sure, I mean, this applies to doing any top coat. Look, my, my forehead is so big. <laughs> Oh, hey, forehead. How are you doing? Um, when you're applying uh, your top coat, make sure the whole nail is covered because you don't want to end up with gaps. I was just checking that they was all covered here. I've cured those for 60 seconds. <clears throat> now I'm going to use my brush to pick up some of the wet finish. You don't have to make this thick. This isn't um, doesn't need to be thick. Oh, it's so pretty. You wait, look, watch this one. <gasps> Top coat and time at its best. Oh yeah, baby. Look. Mm. Oh my god. It looks so nice. It looks more silvery, but it's so hollow. It's so so pretty. I'm looking at it now in the sun. Oh my god, it's on my desk. I got attacked. I've got Minecraft going because I'm I'm trying to uh, yeah. Ugh. I've got Minecraft on the brain at the minute. I'm so sad. I play Minecraft, but I love it. Right, anyway, right. Wipe off the tacky layers. Um, you want to leave the leave the nails for a, like a minute. Just wait for them to cool down before you wipe off the tacky layer. And when it comes to the wet finish, you want to make sure that nail is proper squeaky clean. Um, so give it a really good wipe. The squeakier, the better. And then you're going to have the most amazing glossy finish on that. Oh, look at that glitter. <coughs> Love it. <sighs> right, now we're going to add some crystals. So the crystals I'm using, I'm going to try and show them as I go. Look at these. Aren't these beautiful? These are light sapphire Swarovski crystals. They're the pointy backs and they are 4.5 millimeters. I don't know what that is in... Um, inside i don't know what that is in ss size or pp size i don't know pp <laughs> um i don't know what that is uh but they're 4.5 millimeters and these ones are swarovski ones they are so pretty i'm gonna do a cluster with these um so normally i do two at a time um and then put a little bit yeah but i'm gonna do all three at the same time because um i don't really have to worry that they're going to get knocked off because uh, it's only going on my flexi hand so i'm just going to apply i'm just going to do it like that straight away there we go pop that in the lamp once you're happy with the placement then i've got my preciosa preciosa fuchsia crystals um ss 5 7s and 12s i think these were it said on the bottom of the pot i love these these are like a dark pink then i've got the um preciosa nail art mix these are mixed shapes i'm gonna take from this the little raindrop one the pear drop shape here this one we're gonna use that and we're gonna place i put the the glue i put the glue way too low um let watch so i put this on but i have to squidge it up a little bit and then you'll see that there's glue underneath um so what i'm going to do is before i cure that i'm going to place a fuchsia crystal on the glue underneath that otherwise if we cured it and then put more glue on it's just going to make it look bulky and not very uh not very sleek that's probably not the right word but um, right, okay, so these are from Born Pretty. Born Pretty have got 20% off between the 10th and the 16th of um, October. So grab yourself 20% off. These beads are from Born Pretty. And um, yeah, I decided... Oh, hang on. Right, I'm going to take two crystals from the Swarovski valentine's bumper mix these are the little ones i'm going to use these are little uh pointy back ones they're going to sit in the side of our little cluster here so i'm just going to put some gem glue in that little crevice i'm saying all the words and i don't know if they're right <laughs> place it in gently and then i did put two little microbes either side of that but it kind of dawned on me why am i using 
rose gold beads when I should be using silver beads because we've got silver holographic beads. So uh, I'm just going to... Hang on, look. I'm t wait, I was trying to pick the glue off and I'm like, it's cured on there, you plonker. You're not going to get that off. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just going to quickly show you the other beads. These are the other micro beads that I got from uh, Yellow Silver. So I'm like, why am I using rose gold? So I've used the smaller silver beads from this little bead art wheel that's from Born Pretty again. Um, and I've created like this thing here with clear preciosa crystals and the fuchsia crystals. And then I've done like a swooshy thing with the beads. And I'm just going to add some more micro beads to this other nail and then that's going to be it finished. I'm not going to show you this on camera though because the video was getting quite long as it was. But this is what I went with. Um, I kind of wished I'd add a couple more crystals to the bottom of the middle finger. But I didn't and it's too late now. But it doesn't matter. But I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget, discount codes and websites and all that good stuff will be in the description box below. Um, yeah, this is... Yep, yeah, that's it really. I think it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, so I'll see you beautiful lot tomorrow with a brand new video. Have an amazing evening. Love you all. Bye.